Mike on. Alrighty, you blackguards and blackguardines. Welcome back to Just King, Just King. Where we have a king who heals 100 HP every 18 seconds with an eel liver and an incendiary glove ready to send Spore Druid Eldhood to the grave. Will this take 3,000 years? Yes! But will the dogs in Phase 2 completely decimate me? Probably not. Oh, come on! I was running away. As you can see, his thing starts at the bottom of where he is, so you tend to want to be below him. That way you can run out of the circle faster! Fun fact with this! You can also run straight to the side, and that will also work. However, do not try to run diagonally, as that will slow you down. The circle is the same distance in all directions, but you move slower when moving diagonally. Why? Reasons. And again, you aren't here for an infomercial. You're here to see absolute destruction. Well, uh, I'm doing that. <laughs> Very slow and painful destruction, but destruction nonetheless. Cargolas did so up, by the way, as did a Wrath Crown after I had run out of money because they wanted to feel included. Cargolas, which is good against most any other boss because they just don't have the number of summons that this guy has. As you can see, I moved diagonally there and almost ate it. Must be slow, steady, methodical, and murderous. And as you can see, he's not doing his slow down goop. That's because I'm not far enough away from him. I move too far away, then he does his slow down goop. A meticulous dance to do, but it works. If anybody says, Is it possible to beat Just King without taking damage when he has such a BS attack that will always hit you no matter what? The answer is yes. Because he will not use said BS attack. So, how are y'all doing today? The update came out, Valentine's is happening, and what am I spending Valentine's doing? Uh, murdering bosses. Congratulations, Elthood. I suppose you are technically my Valentine. Considering you're the only person I'm spending time with today. Well, I guess I can also count the devs who I'm talking to. But I haven't received their permission to call them that. So, uh, we'll have to see after I upload this. Uh. Overall, the damage is not bad. And the damage will only get better once the wolves are in play. Because then I'll deal 8 damage per hit instead of 5. Because my punches deal 5, the explosion deals 8. And you do not deal the explosion damage to the person that you're punching. Why? Laura only knows. He's gonna get another seal to coming up pretty soon. They didn't make it once per box because that would be too easy. Instead, it's per X amount of HP lost. <sighs> Come on, you blackguard. Not even passively healing anymore because I managed to just go back up to full HP. Which I suppose means I can just tank one of these for extra damage because why not? Five hits for 40 damage seems like a fair trade. And they have little icons now to indicate, yes, you did this on hard difficulty, and yes, you did this on king only, which I like, because, uh, well, it's like a trophy. It's proof that, yes, I did get here using only the king. I didn't just get here with a barge and Sadie business and feed the king at the last minute. Nah, this was legit, king only, the entire run. That's actually how King Only started. Somebody said, oh, I bet you can do uh, this King Only. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll do that. And then I did it King Only. They were like, I meant just the boss, you moron. I didn't mean the entire area. <laughs> oh, when will I get tired of retelling that story? Probably never. 
Oh, well. I mean, we're going to be running around in circles for the next, what, five minutes? I ain't got any other interesting stories to tell. As this is the only zone that I can do Wicked on. All the other zones are far more difficult. One, King Only in the Ice Zone may not be possible whatsoever because, well, it's just not really feasible due to most enemy attacks increasing your amount of frost and, well, the frost itself making you take a crap load of extra damage and you're almost unable to hit the enemies back means basically disaster. You might be able to do it on normal. Could probably do it on fun with the new buffs that King only got. But doing it on Wicked is just a no-go. Deep, the main issue is the boss because you don't have any extra movement speed. The only extra movement speed that you get is from uh, the Wrath Crown. So you basically need that if you want to evade the Wicked Speed tentacles. And the fact that you need O2. You're kind of already running in circles already. But the main issue isn't the circles. The main issue is the physical props themselves. Which tighten your circles to the point where it's not as efficient. Wait, so what you don't want to do is get surrounded. Because then more of them can hit you at the same time. What you want to do is make sure that only one. Maybe like half of your sides are covered. Not all of them. Regardless, he doesn't seem to summon them often enough, and I have the uh, pocket cleric, so unless something goes catastrophically wrong, we should be all good. Something went catastrophically wrong. We're less good now. I kind of want to die, that way I can start up my uh, timer again. Okay. We've got 18 seconds until I can be revived again. Okay, things did not go catastrophically wrong. I have my revive back. Just be slow, steady, and careful about this. Nice. Alright, I'm going to die to this on purpose. That way I can get my heal. And I can start the countdown again. 18 seconds, belaggard. This is going to hurt. But I've got my revive back because I did the thing earlier. So, kill me again. There we go. Nothing went catastrophically wrong. That's good. The poison goop does slow you down. Make sure you stay out of that. Though that should be simple enough. Ah, yeah, diagonals. That was on me. Alright, I'd ask you to kill me, but instead I'm going to run away and await the arrival of the wolves. There we go. They're probably going to kill me on their own. And by staying out of the circle, I make sure that I don't take that damage as well. It's all about respawn management, or revive management, I suppose is the better way to say it. Have a revive ready for when things go catastrophically wrong, and make things go catastrophically wrong so that your cooldown is back up when you need it. So, yep, wolves now. So I'm slowed down, and I'm in a corner, and there's wolves eating at me, but I still managed to escape because I stuck to the bottom of the screen, allowing me to take less wolves at a time. That... I don't know why I couldn't make that cycle. Otherwise, I'm going to be moving straight left. Make that cycle with ease. I don't think I need to die at this moment. So I'm going to hold on to my HP. Going to run over here. Make sure these guys can only take me from the right side. This guy's going to use his attack, and I'm going to stay down here. Didn't get hit by the big scythe. I'm going to purposefully die to this next big scythe. There we go. Make 
make sure you don't get surrounded. Getting slowed down kind of sucks, but isn't that bad. All right, out of the way. Let's do this. Because I'm haste based rather than mostly uh, DMZ based. This is going faster because I can get rid of his bark skin easier. He's going to summon the wolves again pretty soon. There they are. They're going to surround me a bit. That's okay. Got the slowdown, but that's okay. Punch these guys, and that's okay. We're already at the edge of his radius, so we're good on that front. And now I just punch him. Run straight left. Slow down a little bit, but not too much. There we go. All right, keep running straight left. He's a bit faster now, but we can get in two lefts. If we do a third left, then we're going to get kind of screwed. So instead, go over the top a bit. Go up and right, which barely makes it because diagonals suck. But hey, purposefully die to these wolves. That way I can start my timer up again. Get going. Use the wolf to do a little bit more damage to the boss. Going left. I think we can do another left if I'm just slow him down a bit. Here we go. All right, straight left. Now we're going to need to go up. He's probably going to summon the wolves again. Gonna use the wolves again to deal more damage to the guy. Run straight right. That wolf got stuck behind him, which is why it was still alive. It was basically a little bit slowed down. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get hit there when I've gotten hit a couple of times by similar attacks. Alrighty. I was gonna mention wolves, but I didn't want to seem stupid if they didn't sew up, so I didn't say it, and now they did sew up. Oh well. He's basically dead, but I gotta run to the right. There we go. That'll do. And he's dead, as you can see by these symbols up in the top right. Hard mode and just king run in their new weird bolded text. Only bloody tears allowed. Boss fight to race in 700. Alrighty, ending recording here. Woo.